What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome to the first episode of Call of Duty Ghosts Maps Exposed. For those of you that are new to the channel, this is a series that I did in Black Ops 2 where I went through every one of the maps, and in each episode I cover one map, and I share with you guys all of the lines of sight, jumps, and spots that I know of on every one of the maps. In Call of Duty Ghosts, we have one more thing to cover, and that is the dynamic map element, so I'm going to be showing those within this series as well. So I'm going to be going through each one of these maps in order based on the menu. So starting it off with episode one, we're going to be covering Prison Break. So starting it off, as always, I like to cover domination capture spots. So for CDOM, if you expect enemies to be coming from the B flag area, I love to capture from behind this stump. It offers great cover and you can still capture the flag from there. Another alternative is to capture next to this little shed here. And this is also a great spot. You can be ready for gunfights there, and you can also see enemies' feet if they come through this area. So keep an eye with your peripherals there. And one last option, if they are coming from that direction, is from behind this truck. But I don't recommend this one nearly as much because they can pick you off from the ridge right there. So you are a little bit exposed here. Now turning it around, if you expect enemies to be coming from more towards the A flag, then you can capture from right here. And this is probably your best bet alongside also capturing from this stump once again. This offers you a great way to fight back. Moving on to the B flag on this map, it's quite open and there really aren't any amazing capture spots on this, but right here is really good if you expect the enemies to be coming from C and you know that you're going to be safe from the ramp next to B. Because obviously if there is a guy up on this ramp right here, he'll be able to see you and pick you off really easily if you're capturing from there. So make sure you have a teammate there or you just make sure that you know that nobody will be coming from there. And if you expect somebody to be on the ramp, then you'll want to capture up close to this area right here, and they'll have to actually drop down to get to you. So finally, we have the A flag. And once again, there's no really spectacular capture spots for the A flag. It's pretty straightforward. You're going to want to try and use this cover here of this little pile of dirt, and uh, you can use it from either side. And that's probably your best bet most of the time. You're going to want to have to try and fight back if you're capturing the A flag. There's no real hiding and capturing it. And you can also capture from on top of these posts, which isn't really all that useful. And if you want to get really creative, you can actually jump on top of this piece of machinery right here, and you can go to the end of the arm and capture from there. There is absolutely no reason to capture from here. I just thought I'd point out that you can do it. All right, so starting it off with all the lines of sight, jumps, and spots, we're going to start at the A flag and sort of work our way around the map towards the C flag and then the B flag. And this building right here is actually the most popular spot for campers and snipers to go. So I just thought I'd show that you can get up there by using this ladder. And the only other option is to get up here through the stairs. So you do have a couple options, but not a ton. I was kind of hoping there'd be a creative jump spot to get up there, but there isn't. Now, just on the outside of that building, you can jump into this truck and then jump up onto the scaffolding here. It's not really a great spot, but I just thought I'd show that you can do it. And you can use it to watch towards middle, but other than that, you're pretty exposed. And then from this truck, you can also jump across to this little uh, toll booth or whatever it is. And you can watch over towards the B flag. You can just see people's heads if they come around that corner. And that's a great spot to watch there. But you are extremely exposed up here. So don't stay there for too long. Now right over here by the flag, you can actually jump up onto this truck from the front here. And then you can sort of use this blue thing as cover. But just keep in mind, this is only visual cover. You can shoot through it very easily. So it's not really going to protect you much. Another thing you can do back here is you can jump up on these concrete cylinders. And you can actually watch over the blue boards towards the middle ramp area there. And you are a little bit exposed to the sides. This is a really situation dependent spot, but it can be very useful if you have guys that are rushing through there. Moving on, I have a great way to take out the guys on top of that hill that will pin you into your spawn if you're spawning at the A flag. All you have to do is come up to any one of these poles back here and you can just hop up on them. You just press A to mantle or X on PS3 and there you go. Nice head glitch over the blue boards. There's no way they're going to see you there and you can just pick them off really easily. And just an alternative to that, if you're spawning over here, you can actually use these trees for cover. You're going to be very hard to spot through here by those guys on the hill and you can just shoot them through here like that. And most of the time you'll kill them before they even realize what's going on. Now something I wanted to point out over here, it's not really all that useful, but you can jump on top of this trailer really easily just by jumping on there and then on top. And there's also a ladder on the back side of it, but it's not the most useful spot. Just thought I'd point out that you can do it. Now one more great way to watch for guys that are coming through this middle ramp area is to actually jump in the back of this truck right here. And you have a really nice piece of cover and you can sort of head glitch over top and pick people off from right here. So it's a great defensive position. Moving a little towards the C flag, you can also jump up on top of this trailer just like the last one and you can get eyes on the C flag from here. 
And you can also once again get a little bit of a line of sight through the foliage here towards the uh, middle ramp area. Now also, there's one more thing from up here. You can actually jump across to this trailer right here. And it's not really all that useful. You do get a little bit of a line of sight on the sniper building at the back, but you are pretty exposed here, so it's really not ideal. All right, so getting into this back area right here, this is actually a really common spawn for the sea flag, and you can actually get a really nice line of sight with a sniper rifle over towards the big sniper building that I mentioned earlier. And you probably only want to use a sniper rifle from here, but it is a great way to just take them out, and there's no way they're going to see you from there. Now moving on, right by the sea flag, a lot of times people will be up on this ridge and they will keep you kind of spawn trapped at sea or they'll just be really annoying and they'll be picking you off if you're around the sea flag. So if you want to take them out, all you have to do is go up onto these logs behind this logging truck and there you go. You have a really nice head glitch to that uh, ridge there and you can pick people off no problem and there's barely any way they'll see you and you have much better cover than them. Now right next to that last spot, if you expect people to be coming from the B area around this corner right here, a great way to get ready for them is to jump up right here, right behind the cab of this truck. And you can look through this window. You can't shoot through it though, just keep that in mind. But you can look through it, watch them come around, then you can lean over or just peek out and you can take those guys out. Now over here, I have another great line of sight into this big sniper building at the back of the A flag. You just jump up on here and there you go. Look at that line of sight. It's perfect for taking out snipers across the way there. And they're not likely to be looking where you are right here. And you can also use it to look sort of over towards that spawn that I mentioned earlier. And uh, you can kind of watch from here as well. But I wouldn't stay up here for too long. You're not going to get a ton of kills. All right, so now let's cover the two dynamic map elements that I know of on this map. To my knowledge, there are only two. And the first one is you can shoot this dead tree right here. And it'll just fall over. And you can use it as a ramp to get up onto this ridge. And once again, you can also go down as a ramp, obviously, as well. And that's the first one. The second one is really nearby right here. And to my knowledge, you need an explosive for this, but you just throw a C4 or IED or grenade or whatever on that, and it'll blow up, and it'll kill anybody that's in its path at the time. So it is a pretty cool way that you can maybe trap somebody. I don't know how practical it actually is in game, but just know that it is there. Now, another thing to mention with this is once you trigger that second dynamic map element, it actually opens up a new line of sight and piece of cover to use for defending against that ridge right there. So moving on towards the B flag, it can be really frustrating if you're trying to attack the B flag from the C flag because of the snipers and LMG users that will sit up on top of this hill right here. There's a great way to defend against them though if you're coming from the C flag. All you have to do is come up beside this little bridge right here and kind of wedge yourself in this corner. And there you go, look at that line of sight there. They'll barely be able to see your head and you can always crouch to avoid it. So you're going to have much better cover than them and you'll be able to take them out most of the time. Okay, so now I have a couple spots near the B flag that you can use, and this one is more a spot just to look out for. People will often come out onto this little area right here, and they can sort of lean around this tree. They're very hard to spot, and it looks like they're actually out of the map. I can't even tell if it's a glitch or not, but it is really annoying if someone's sitting there all game trying to kill you, so just be aware of that one. And the only other real spot that I could find near the B flag is when you're battling against the people in the building across the way there. This happens quite a bit. There's usually a big firefight that goes on most of the game between the guys on the hill and the guys in the building. All you have to do is come over to here and you can actually see through this little crack and through the foliage there and you can pick guys off through there quite easily. Just keep in mind that your right side is a little bit exposed here. All right, so that's all I have for this first episode of Call of Duty Ghosts Maps Exposed. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys next time.